Hi, I'm Jane Patrick with Shack Spindle Company, and today I want to show you how to warp and weave on the Shack Tapestry Loom. The Tapestry Loom is a specially designed loom for pictorial weaving. It's great for wall hangings and placemats and fabric up to 60 inches long and 25 inches wide. It's simple and flexible and easily transportable, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is wind some string heddles. And you will need as many string heddles as you have warp ends. So I use this heddle riser for my template and I'm going to tie then as many as I need for all my warp yarns. After you have those finished, it's time to put the warp on the loom. So I'm going to turn the loom over and then I'm going to steady it with these cones of yarn. So on this loom, you're going to be winding a continuous warp. So you're always going to be going around the loom. You're going to start, I'm using cotton carpet warp, and I'm going to start here on my warp bar, which is right there, and tie, uh, tie a good square knot. And then I'm going to go down around the bar, across the front of the loom, over my tension bar, which you want to have in the center there. And then I'm going to go around my warp bar again, back across the back, over the tension bar, across the front, over the bar, and around my warp bar. And you're going to make as many uh, warp threads as you have threads in your project, and that's all there is to it. Now that you have all the warp yarns measured, it's time to put the heddles on. So visually, I uh, separated the front and the back with a piece of cardboard just to make it easier to uh, see where, what I want to do on the front. So I have done one heddle bar already. So I put my heddles on every other thread, and now I'm going to do the threads I didn't do before. So I have my um, pickup stick there just so it's easier for me to see which threads to put on my heddle bar. So I'm going to fold my heddle in half, go under the warp yarn and place it on the heddle bar. And then I'll do that for all my uh, warp yarns on my pickup stick and then I'm ready to weave. Now I'd like to show you how to weave. I have the tapestry loom here on an A-frame stand which uh, allows the weaving to be vertical. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my first heddle bar up and that raises a half uh, half the threads. I'm going to place my stick shuttle uh, through the opening or shed. And the stick shuttle is handy if you're going to be weaving side to side. And now that I have my weft in place, I'm going to beat it with a tapestry beater. Um, this is an accessory that you can get for your loom. And then I'm going to lift the other set of threads. Now here you can see I'm just using two pattern sticks um, you can also use four for more uh, weave patterns. And I'm weaving side to side, but you can also uh, put in your colors anywhere you want and create infinite number of designs. So just by alternating those two heddle bars, I'm, I'm weaving. And that's all there is to it. The tapestry loom, accessories, and more information are available on the Blick website.